Hi there, Loy Macedo speaking to you from LoyMacedo.com and today we're going to do the book review of, uh, where is that, uh, book review? Oh, sorry, ah, yes. How we decide by jo Jonah Lehrer. Yeah, Jonah Lehrer. Okay. By the way, I just finished a jog and I am feeling like a million dollars. Anyway, coming back to my book review. Um, my journey into the gray matter, that is the brain, started um, with the fascinating book Blink by Malcolm Gladwell. Later on, it subsequently moved into books like uh, Free Will by Sam Harris, Incognito by David Eagleman, then uh, uh, what is it, Quiet by Susan Cain, Predictably Irrational by Dan Ariely, and finally Emotional Intelligence by Travis Bradbury. So these were the people who kind of inspired me to you know, want to know more about neuroscience, behavioral psychology, and yes, the gray matter that is inside. Now this book, um, How We Decide by John Lehrer, it is, it is an absolutely fascinating journey into the discovery of um, how we think. It, now just imagine this, this guy, the author, is only 27 years old and he's writing books that really make you think. In fact, I, I read the book once and I was like absolutely blown away. Uh, he gives you terms like nucleus accumbens, then amygdala, then uh, uh, the prefrontal cortex, uh, then uh, the thalamus. Uh, he also gives uh, spindle cells and anterior cingulate cortex. Um, also, he talks about chemicals and hormones in the brain um, like uh, oxytocin and uh, what is it? dopamine. Yeah. So, I, I know all these sounds like Chinese to most of you there or maybe you know most of these terms, but for me it was absolutely new. I was like, whoa, what is all this? And then I started to do some more research and I found out this is really good stuff. Um, throughout the book, the author, what he does is he gives you anecdotes and examples that really make you think. Like for example, he talks about the 2002 Super Bowl uh, game where this guy, his name is Tom Brady, he gave this incredible pass with a few seconds left. You know, people are coming rushing from all directions. He has to throw the ball. He has to decide whether he has to throw left, right, center, far or near. And uh, he just throws this exactly at the right, uh, to the right person at the right time, calculating who is coming near him, how many seconds, you know, stuff like that. Uh, how did he do this? Then he also speaks about how Michael Binger, a Stanford particle physicist, how did he win the World uh, Poker Championship? That is simply by using his intuitive abilities and yes, by maths. Then <coughs> he speaks of uh, United Airlines captain, captain, uh, who's that? Al Haynes, uh, United Airlines captain who landed a plane without the use of hydraulics because it, uh, you know, it, started, it had a malfunction. In fact, when they try to replicate this in uh, artificial conditions, that is, they have the simulators, uh, they found on an average it took 57 tries per person to uh, to match the landing capacity and capability of uh, what Al Haynes did. And the surprising thing was Al Haynes did it for the first time. And uh, another example that he gives is uh, Lieutenant Commander Michael Riley. Uh, he was, um, you know, uh, he was in charge of uh, some of the battalions in uh, Iraq. And so what happened was uh, he happened to see a blip on the radar screen, which was novel because a lot of, uh, um, you know, friendly allies were passing by. But however, when he saw this blip, immediately he knew something was wrong. And uh, he had to differentiate and find out whether this was an uh, ally or whether this was a uh, missile. And he could not contact them because uh, they wanted to remain hidden. So they used to switch off their radios. So there's no way to contact. And if he does not take an action, they have a risk of being destroyed. So how is it that he identified this blip and made a crucial decision? And he gave the orders for them to attack this missile. So incredible stuff. I mean, thought provoking examples, not the usual ones, the unusual ones, new stuff, things that you have not heard of. Uh, in fact, he also gives you some thought provoking facts like this. Uh, why is it when you make overly emotional decisions, you always fail? Why is it that if you're given too much of information, you make the wrong decision? Uh, why is that uh, credit cards make you actually spend more? However, if you give cash to a person, he does not spend. Then uh, <clears throat> what does introspection have to do with the placebo effect? So questions like that, a uh, lot of great stuff. Uh, I thought this book was fabulous. In fact, if you are not a fast reader or if you're not a person who just wants to glimpse through books, I would highly recommend you must read this book because this book really makes you think. However, 
uh, let me tell you, this is a serious read and uh, you have to be, uh, you know, really curious about learning more. I'm not saying that you are not, but, you know, just telling you. However, uh, sorry, why am I using however? Uh, all in all, I would say this was a great book. I loved it. Uh, I would want to read it again, underline it, put plenty of notes. And I would highly recommend this book to anybody and everyone who wants to learn more. So if you ask my overall rating, I give it a 10 out of 10. I would say absolutely perfect masterpiece. And I would be purchasing all of John Lehrer's books. So this is Roy Macedo speaking to you from RoyMacedo.com after a wonderful jogging session. Thank you for 